Hi all, welcome to this J League SBC. I'm going to show the complete routes that I'm going for. I'm not going to submit them for now, I'm going to hold off till later in the year. Doing some more what we did with the Scottish Premiership and other League SBC. So if you can smash the likes, be awesome, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter, at Jesus Legend, all the links are down below for playlists on the channel and social media links as always. Let me know in the comments down below what routes you've went, if you've went to complete this for a Utaka card. Looks really nice and all, it's 84 rated and definitely a card I will be happy to have in my club in due course. So. First route is Albrecht's Negata, um, really easy, um, 60 overall, 95 chem, and in all honesty, one of the easy routes. You get away with just a couple silvers in the team, you can get away with most bronzes as well, um, and it's 500 coins and a silver pack, so it's not the best rewards, but it's relatively cheap. It's about 3k to roughly do this route, so not too bad on that. Then, Avisapath, um, Fukuoka, I'm going to butcher some of the names, but Nice and easy route as well. I've got quite a lot of silvers in this team. Um, 62 raid. I can tweak it a bit more if I need to. And for what you get in all push pack, it's not too bad, but it gets you sorted. And that would be two routes completed. Um, FC Tokyo. Um, slightly okay route. There's quite a lot of silvers in this. And I've got quite a few bronzes I can still throw in. I'll probably tweak the squad um, maybe later on. But nice and easy. And. 95 chem seems to be the benchmark and 64 rating so not too bad on that route and I'll get that done in due course. Decent reward and price. Gambo Saka is not too bad either. Um, plenty of silvers, plenty of bronzes you can throw in. I've got like most, I had most of the players like packed or bought so I bought them all in advance. Decent reward premium silver players packing, that's like an 8.5k pack so not too bad and you can't go wrong with that reward. So that would be the next one complete. They're all about quite relatively cheap. I'll let you know which ones roughly stand out. Jub Jubileo Iata. Um, this is quite a cheapish route because of the centre-back Papadopoulos. He makes the routes this route cheap um, due to being a 75 overall. But 62 rating and 95 chem. Silver pack. A uh, premium silver pack and 1,000 coins. And a lot of the bronzes you can get away with other players in odd position. Like I've got a CDM at cam and... a striker at right mid and I've still got enough chem so I can't go wrong with that um, oops just went back in the wrong team um, Kashima Antlers this was this is quite a cheap route because um, a lot of people had prepared this team early in advance but it's also quite expensive because a lot of silvers is what you need you can get away with quite a few bronzes as well um, but I had practically the whole team as silvers didn't really have any bronzes but a premium silver plus pack decent pack and there is a lot of scope to tweak this team and boost it down so keep that in mind. I might do that actually um, later in the year if I can buy some of the bronzes for cheap. So that's another team out the road. Kashima Race is not too bad. Um, this team has a lot of bronzes um, that you can play out of position which is kind of handy and a lot of low rated ones and the silvers aren't too expensive. The right mid's not too bad in all honesty and for a Jumbo premium silver pack, can't go wrong, I think. I'm not sure what that's worth actually, I think that's 7.5, but good pack there. Then Kawasaki Frontal, um, a lot of silvers in this team, this is probably one of the more expensive routes in all honesty for what I've seen. Um, the right back in the team is like extinct, so I think this is one of the more, I think this is like 10 to 15k routes, and it is pretty extreme. But I got lucky because I had a lot of these players already. Most of these players were packs, so I was kind of lucky on that instance. And a jumbo premium gold pack, so it's kind of worth it for what you're putting in. But it's not too bad for um, coin to um, pack value. Then we've got Nagoya Grampus. Um, this team is pretty expensive as well. The, um, the rare right back and one of the strikers is like eight, like seven, eight k um, last night and. A lot of people were paying like extreme prices, but this is actually relatively cheap if you can get the right bronzes in. Um, silvers, like the Swedish silver I had packed luckily, so he's kind of helpful. And that was another route done. Silver players pack, sorted. And bronze striker is cheap as they come. Then Omiya, Ard Omiya I'm not even going to Ardia, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, the biggest problem is the striker that's injured up top, he is transferred to another team, so don't use him, he's like super expensive, it's like 3 to 5k for him. But a relatively cheap route with all the bronzes and for a 
Jimbo Freeman Silver Pack for 61 overall, it's actually not too bad. So it's relatively cheap. It, all told, it's roughly costing you about 100k to do this just now if you don't have anything. But um, I think you'll be able to do it a lot cheaper in due course. Um, this route's not too bad. The free silvers in the team, you can find alternatives quite easily. And I would say personally, if you can tweak it around a bit, you'll get a relatively cheaper route built. But it's not too bad. Um, 62 overall, all players pack. It's just try and look for routes other than these free silvers and you'll be alright. But the centre back at 73 rated, he's kind of needed because there's not many other options. Then Hiroshima, another expensive route, mainly because of the amount of silvers you need. Um, Utaka is quite expensive and so is Ayama. But there's quite a few of the bronzes are quite expensive due to um, needing a balance of silvers as well. But for a thousand coins or um, silver premium players pack, it's not too bad in all honesty. And 65 overall, so keep that in mind, it's quite a decent overall and I can tweak it a little bit. So plenty of flexibility in due course. Belmere is quite a cheapish route. Um, 62 overall, um, I had quite a few of the silvers. Um, like the guy up top, Wesley, is like one of the fastest non-rares in the game. And quite a good route, so can't go wrong with this route. And for a Jumbo Premium Silver, it's not too bad actually. Decent packs. Um, Uruban Red, I had a lot of these players already in advance, which was kind of, I had like the whole team. And it's quite expensive to be honest. This is probably Uruban Red is maybe the most expensive route, I think, because the silvers you need a lot. Um, you can get away with quite a few bronzes, um, but you need a lot of silvers to kind of compensate this team. So keep that in mind when you build this route. Then Vigata Sendai, um, with this route, it's just, just a balance of bronzes and silvers. The right back, um, sorry, quite a few of the defenders in the team are quite um, expensive, so the left back and the right back are really expensive. The right mid was actually relatively cheap. I had him in the club already, but when at the time when I saw him, he was 200, and then I think he's now up to about five to 500 to 1,000 coins. But silver players pack, not too bad and it all helps because you'll probably get a lot of these guys back in your packs so it won't feel so bad. Um, um, Kofu, the um, vent for it, Kofu is quite cheap. Um, the Brazilians, I hope, I'm glad they didn't put out, like a Brazilian requirement because there is quite a few Brazilians in this team and I would have said if they did that then the shoot would be super expensive but the four Brazilians in the team are all roughly at least 1000 coins some of them even pushed towards 1.52k so but as a whole a lot of these players are relatively cheap just around like that 55 um, to 60 rated mark a lot of players just get neglected and you can build this route quite cheap and it kind of proves when you can play three strikers and um, one at left forward and one at right forward and get away with it so it's not too bad on that basis two teams to go Vassell Kobe um, it's quite an expensive route to be honest for what I've saw, um, mainly because quite a few specific players are quite extinct and I had to play three centre backs, the left back is like 10,000 coins, you can't get them and I don't know why, it's just people are trying to be um, a bit silly but you can get away with quite a few um, throwaway bronzes and I got away with a cam at striker and he's on like 2 or 3 cam and the striker at that's the centre forward is also on less game and it still works. And the last team is Yokohama. Um, I, and I can't remember what the FM, I always forget what the FM, I'm sure it's from Sun Mariners is the M part. But this is a relatively cheap route, um, mainly because of all the bronzes are quite a decent rating and the silvers themselves are relatively cheap. And a silver players pack and 62 raid, 95 cam, practically sorted. So this is what you'd get in completed for your Utaka and in all honesty it's quite a nice SPC so as I said 90, it's about 90k on the PlayStation and 100k on the Xbox hope you find this useful let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this I've tweeted up the routes as well so I thought I'd show a video as well for those that um, don't use Twitter so take it easy thanks for watching and I will catch you all later